Welcome back to the channel everyone, I'm Rich. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. I'm gonna give you guys my review on it. From a student perspective, I'm gonna cover everything from gaming, the note taking, the hardware, the whole nine yards. So uh, let's get right into it. Included, you'll find the laptop itself along with the USB-C fast charging brick, USB-C cable, and the S Pen. So uh, the Galaxy Book coming in at 15.6 inches remains relatively thin yet light. Uh, this book has a sleek and slim profile that makes it easy to take on the go. It has a nice metal finish on the outside, giving it a premium feel and a 360 degree hinge that allows you to use it in laptop mode, tent mode. You'll see two USB-C ports on the left side, one on the right, a headphone jack, and lastly, a micro SD card slot. The micro SD card slot is actually pretty handy and discreet as you can use this to expand your storage if you need to or transfer files quickly. And it does so without sticking out. As you can see right here, it stays flush within the hardware. And sometimes you might forget if it's even there. If we take a look back at the laptop, you'll see these two durable metal hinges. Uh, the metal hinges can stand a lot of pressure. It definitely feels like it will stand up for a very, very long time. Doesn't feel cheap in any sorts of way. I mean, moving it back and forth a lot. It's really good. Everything from the responsible tactile keyboard to the nice and smooth trackpad feels like you're getting your money's worth here. I'd like to say the typing mouse experience here feels pretty classy. It's nice that they gave us a full size keyboard here with the number pads, F keys, delete, and all that. And most of these will be useful for me when I edit or uh, play video games. You never know when those extra keys come in handy. As for the display, now at first I thought uh, a 1080p screen will be kind of a letdown here, especially how it's like 2022, 2023. A lot of laptop and phone manufacturers are making higher and higher end display screen resolutions. Especially with Samsung, their mid-range uh, Samsung Galaxy A53 smartphone has a really nice 120 hertz screen and high resolution. Uh, with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, if you get real close, you can start to see the pixels on it because it is still a 1080p screen. But what makes up for that resolution is actually uh, the AMOLED display technology. I mean, if you're out here browsing the web, watching Netflix shows, movies, and more, you're definitely going to be pleased with how vibrant this screen is. Most of the content I view on here is actually very pleasing to the eye. It's not gonna be ultra, ultra sharp, but it does a really good job at providing insane amount of light. I mean, yes, this display is really bright. Sometimes it can get a little hot if you're using it for a long time. The speakers come from the bottom of the laptop, and in my personal opinion, it sounds good enough. It looks like they're using AKG speakers down here, which come from the bottom, so that kind of hits a table or whatever surface that you're on and the sound dissipates from it. Uh, it's not gonna have any real huge base, I've noticed. I think it's enough to fill up maybe a small bedroom and maybe kitchen if you're having it on full blast. And then when you fold the laptop into tablet mode, um, the speakers are gonna hit directly underneath the screen. So the sound kind of dissipates on a thin angle. Uh, it's a little bit weird how the sound comes out, but it, it does work. It's not a huge deal breaker. You're still gonna be able to listen to stuff very clearly. Now let's not forget about the performance, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is packing. That's a very long name. Their Intel Core i7 1260p processor paired with their Iris XE graphics is actually high key kind of powerful. Powerful enough to run just about most processes that you can throw at it and even gaming. Uh, as you can see here, I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I'm, I'm absolutely destroying kids here. Uh, you know, they don't even stand a chance, all right? I got my USB-C hub connected so I can use my gaming mouse. Uh, we're looking at a solid 42 to 56 frames per second here on medium to low graphics. Modern Warfare 2 is a pretty heavy game to run, so I mean, it's not going to be a gaming laptop performance grade by any point, but it's going to be enough for you to run just about any games in general if you're looking to do just that. The fan on here does get a little noisy, you'll definitely notice this if you're in a quiet space. And even on idle, it's it's a tad bit annoying. And when you game, yeah, it's gonna get real loud. I found if you go to Samsung settings and change the fan to silent under performance mode, you're gonna get a virtually quiet machine most of the time, which is what I keep it on mainly when I take notes and stream the web on here. Only when I do game, I do change the fan speeds to performance and balance just to get that nice kick in frames. But for the most part, the i7 that they got packed in here is gonna do the work and it's gonna do it just well. It's definitely a speedy machine, that's for sure. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the S Pen, all right? The S Pen Samsung includes is honestly great. I mean, this is what this laptop is meant for, taking notes like a young college professional or just a creative person. I mean, there's something for everyone if you get this laptop. Unfortunately, there's not really a spot you can place this S Pen on it. If you're going to school with this, put it in your backpack, make sure to keep that pen safe because you, you definitely can't lose this. I, I, Definitely misplaced this a few times in different pockets, so treat it like your wallet. A cool feature that's only on Samsung laptops is this, uh, you, if you move the S Pen close to the screen and press the button click, this will bring up the shortcuts menu where you can create notes using Samsung Notes or my favorite, uh, screen write, which you can capture the screen and write on it. 
Uh, this shortcut is very useful if you have those notes that you know these professors give you and you want to easily write on it rather than going two steps further like downloading screenshotting opening it up and clicking a bunch of buttons like i said just go right up to the screen click that button shortcut's gonna pop up and you're ready to take notes. This feature saves a lot of time and I use it pretty often. Moving on to taking notes. Taking notes on here is simply amazing. Uh, the 15.6 inch screen here makes it feel like you're actually writing on a school paper. And the display, I, I've looked past the 1080p resolution. Like what, literally when you're down here taking notes, it feels great. The S Pen is accurate and precise. It's incredibly easy once you get the hang of it after a day or two. I like to use Samsung Notes as it's already built into the laptop. Exporting, importing notes seems fast to me. There are of course, you know, hundreds of other writing apps out there, but Samsung works best. I do notice that it may get a little bit buggy when my hands rest on the laptop. As you can see here, my hands might misclick something sometimes and it does get annoying, but there is this great little trick in the windows and ink settings where you can ignore touch input while using your S Pen. So I think that should already be turned on by default. But as you can see here, this will minimize a lot of the misclicks from your hands when your S Pen is near the screen. I'm not a great drawer by any means. I can't really show you what I can draw, but I can see this working well. If you are someone that does like to draw, I do feel pretty high tech using it. The S Pen, if you used it before, is very, very light. Uh, I prefer this kind of over the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil is a little bit heavier on my end and it doesn't have an actual physical button on the side, as you can see here. Does it feel a little bit cheaper in construction? Uh, yeah, but we're not going to try to make an Apple versus Samsung war here, okay? I, I thoroughly enjoy using the S Pen. Moving on to battery real quick. Samsung advertises that this laptop can get up to 12 hours of news. I actually claim that to be a little bit short of what they say. It all depends on your usage as well. As you can see, I played a few games on here which knocked the battery down significantly, but it's nothing too major. I feel like I can get a solid uh, 6 to 10 hours in use on here. Uh, having the AMOLED screen turned up all the way will definitely knock the battery down a lot. Like I said, it does get hot after a while, so be on the lookout for that. The fans might start revving up, so that's going to knock your battery down even more. I mean, nowadays, a lot of companies are switching over to USB-C charging, so if you're to have like a Samsung or an Android device, anything that uses USB-C, you can use this to charge just about anything. You don't have to use some third-party uh, power adapter, the circular stuff that they got going on. Nothing like proprietary by them. So it's nice that they got USB-C charging on all sides here. So uh, overall, as a student, I actually really like using Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Geez, that's a mouthful. I think what really stood out to me the most is how thin this laptop is. I mean, note taking was very enjoyable on this. I was using this during finals week at my university and made for taking notes much easier. The hardware I got in here is packing. I mean, that one terabyte SSD and Intel i7 is, is very nice. I mean, this laptop basically shines in all aspects. I mean, work and play. I wouldn't be surprised to see this laptop going, you know, past a handful of years. I mean, the performance is here to stay. If you buy this laptop now, nah, I'm not going to be afraid of it getting slower anytime soon. Anyways, that's uh, all I got for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And tell me down in the comments below if you are getting this laptop or uh, if you're looking at getting something else. If you do have this, tell me your thoughts. I want to know how your experience is with it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you then.